welcome, welcome, welcome. My brothers, in England, it's cold. But I'm the, and it's the Future Fathers FF Podcast. What are you saying, guys? Yes, 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 yes. As I stated already, it's cold in England, boy. It was colder. It's all right now at the minute. Well, it's not all right, actually. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's wishful thinking. Open, that's all right. And it's not. It's not. I'm black. Yeah. I ain't built for cold weather. Let's, let's just get that out there. Anyway. Brothers and big heads, how you been? I'm talking to the younger ones as well. Just in case, you know, you never know who's listening. Might be some young dads with children on the way. Blessings to you, my brothers. And this one is for all of us. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit upset because I'm pretty sure, as I'm sure you have all noticed once again, there's no nay. What are we going to do about this, bros? What are we going to do about this? We have to get him back. So I've linked up a couple things. I've hooked up a, a, a couple bits to the PC. So hopefully, hopefully, I don't actually have to have him here very much. If he doesn't need to be. If no one needs to be. So my brothers, putting it out there to you as well. Hit me up at Instagram. Yeah, Future Fathers. Future underscore Fathers FF. YouTube comments as well, please, please, please do. Let me know if you're ready for for a, a chat, for a convo. Are you are you ready? Are you willing to get into it? Do you want to get into it, my brothers? Do you want to be here with I'm joking. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Do you want to be here with me? Over the airway? Talking. Huh? Do you? Do you want to get it out? Get it off your chest? Let's do it together, bros. Let's do it. I need to do adverts or something. I need to do something. Which is why I'm doing this with you guys. So, as I stated already, this one's for all of us, my brothers. Ooh, showing affection. I know some of you cringed at that straight away, like, hey, what do you mean? And some of you was like, yes. And some of you was like, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. but no, listen. I'm a man with two sons. I had to learn how to show my son's affection. Kid you not, no jokes at all. I wasn't, I wasn't, I was not an affectionate dad. I reckon if I'd had a daughter, it would have brought me out. It would have brought it out in me a little bit quicker. I definitely do think that. Kicking this stuff about, sorry. Yeah, I think if I had a daughter, it would have brought it out in me a little bit faster, a little bit quicker. But because I had the two boys, it was like, no, come on. You know, get up, stop crying. Blah, blah, blah. I can't even say blah, blah, blah. The brothers, the amount of things I said to my two is a joke. And the different things I've said to them as well. Listen, I was saying in my house here, if you ain't bleeding and there ain't bones sticking up, I don't want to know. I know it sounds mad. And I'm pretty sure I said it before. And believe me, I know what it sounds like. Yeah. But my boys know. All right, yeah, if I'm not, if, if it's not that, I'm good to go. So. How do you get past things like that to show affection? Especially if you're not an affectionate person. If you've never really been shown affection, then you don't really know how to show affection, do you? It's, it's, it's kind of hard. And I know what that's like, only because I didn't know affection from a male perspective. I didn't know what it was like. I never had my dad around to show me affection like that. And when he was around, I didn't really get it like that. So, you know, it was it's, it's kind of mad. Well, it's not mad because I didn't know. And if you don't know, you don't know. It's as simple as that. I like to say that only because life is, is, is a learning process. We learn stuff all the time, every day. And learning how to be affectionate, especially with your children, especially with your young children as well. Yeah. The more affectionate you are with them, the 
I don't want to say the tighter the bond because that's not necessarily the, the case. Some people in general, even children, don't really take well to being shown affection. Some children just like to be told, yeah, boom, it is where it is. Some children love the, the, the attention that they get from their parents being, affect, being affectionate towards them, which is not a bad thing. But the reason I wanted to jump on this topic of being affectionate is us men as dads do we show our children enough affection because I'm sorry but I'm going to say this very bluntly yeah the public don't see it like that if you see a picture of a man and a boy on his lap yeah instantly certain people are going to think what's that about they're not going to look behind it and ask the question of is that his son now I don't know whether it's frowned upon by a lot of people but my son used to sit on my lap I was watching TV both of them and don't I don't I don't want nobody to be sitting there oh no man can't do that man can't do that listen that's my child yeah when you're giving your child a hug what's what's the difference you're standing up the only difference is I'm sitting down my child is literally on my lap and I'm hugging them that's that's not that's not a bad thing and the public needs to stop looking at man being affectionate towards their children as a bad thing it's not a bad thing and I won't say it's the wider public it's it's, it's some people some people internet warriors quite a few of them as well yeah that look at certain things and assume straight away Assumptions are a dangerous thing, you know. I don't like to assume things. I'd rather ask questions and gain information. That's me personally. But when you assume certain aspects of people's lives are what they're not, especially when it comes to the relationship between a father and their children, or a father and their son in particular, it makes me think, well, why are you even thinking that? How dare you? As a dad, from a dad's perspective, yeah? From a dad's perspective, I'm thinking to myself, wait, hold on a second. How dare you question me? If I had a daughter, she would be sitting in my lap. I've got sons. They both sat in my lap, as I've stated already. Me showing them affection is nothing. And all of my brothers out there, every single one of you listening, yeah? I want each and every one of you to know showing your child affection is nothing it shouldn't be looked at you shouldn't look at it yourself and be like i don't know if i should do this my brother certain time you want to pick your daughter up and hug them certain time you want to do that with your son yeah i tell you what do that with your son because your son in turn is going to learn right you know what this is where it is from my dad this is where it is from a man and they're going to do the same thing with their sons don't be a part of of the whole cycle and saying no you know what you're not supposed to be like that with your children who said that i want to know the first person who said that because i'm gonna tell them straight you know what that's a wrong statement you know i got two big boys in my house yeah all now 17 and 21 i still hug them yeah i still tell my youths i love them I might not, you know, like when they was babies, man would kiss them on the cheek and stuff like that. Don't do that anymore, because that's too man. <laughs> yeah, that's too that's too big boys. Like that's different now. But before, what are you mad? My son done something good, my son looks cute, rare tear te- Yeah. Yes, kiss my son all over his face. Hug my son. Put my son on my shoulders. And listen, on my back. Hey. It's not a joke. One thing I will say, yeah? One thing I will say that I notice a lot of men do not do, and I will tell you this. You see fem- you see harnesses where you strap the baby in, like you see women wearing them, yeah? It's like a, how can I put this? It's, 
it's like a it's like a rucksack for babies <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the best way for me to describe it's like a rucksack for babies that you wear on the front my brothers i put both of mine in them yeah and walk the street with my youths like that don't think i'm no idiot because here what i'm willing to put my life before my youths that's how much i love them that's how close i kept my boys skin to skin when they were babies as well listen all of that yeah i'm not ashamed to tell nobody that why because i love my sons there's no difference because my children are male and i don't have female children i don't think that well obviously there's slight differences because of who they are but to tell me oh no you shouldn't hug your son like that what, who were you to tell me i can't hug my son who want any of you to tell any parent they can't do certain things with their youth they can't hug their their sons they can't kiss their son what no bro no 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 i'm sorry yeah he's drawing a line underneath that one there yeah that's exactly what i'm doing to all of you man well not not physically i'm just saying yeah because i don't understand how us as dads showing affection to our children is a bad thing i don't see how it can be looked at as something that can be frowned upon what no because the joke is if you see a dad being affectionate towards his daughter daughter yeah nobody bats an eyelid no one really thinks twice about it nowadays yeah people will suspect certain things is going on so a man can't show their daughter's affection in that certain way as well but for us to have to hold back our feelings our feelings our own feelings for our children because of what other people might say or think or what they think they see that's not okay man that's really not okay i don't i don't i don't think that's right because we don't we as as human beings we don't look at females or should i say we don't look at mums yeah and see a mum showing their child affection either child yeah son or daughter daughter I, I keep having to correct myself i'm sorry we don't see mum showing their children affection and think oh do you know what mum shouldn't be doing that no mum why not why is it different because we're men because we're dad because i know what a lot of people think about dads you know i know a lot of what people think about dads i've been a dad for over 20 years i've seen i've seen a lot i've been a part of a lot i've witnessed a lot i've experienced a lot and let me put it bluntly yeah dads do get the short straw because automatically that's not as important why some of you may say there's a very very obvious answer to that question Dad didn't carry the child for nine months. Done. There you go. So instantly, instantly, because I didn't carry my child in my womb or in a womb for nine months and give birth to that child for however many hours it took or minutes, I'm somehow less of a parent or a lesser parent than mum no and anyone that thinks that how dare you what because because mum carried the child in her belly for nine months yeah that's automatically not as important because you know what some people's thinking is exactly like that you know 
some people's thinking is exactly on that wave there oh well do you know what you didn't you didn't carry the baby you don't know what it feels like you don't know this you don't know that no do you know what we don't know because we didn't carry the baby but that's not an excuse for you to say anything untoward against dads because we didn't carry the child because any dad that's been around their children from day one yeah they know just as much about that child as mum sometimes more sometimes less they know just what to do with that child just like mum and everything else being a parent encompasses especially when it comes to the child so because dads don't breastfeed dads don't know what the child's like dads don't know uh, how the child likes to be held dad has to be extra careful why is dad's child if he doesn't hold the child how is he supposed to know how to be careful that's that's silly you know that's that's kind of dumb and i've heard people say oh hold him carefully hold her carefully um if he doesn't hold the child he won't know how to be careful oh don't do that if he isn't around his child he won't know what not to do if he's not affectionate towards his child his child will not know what affection is like from their dad because that's what we're on affection and do you know what? I tell you now, that one little aspect of life that so many people take for granted, so many people overlook, and so many people underrate, is extremely, extremely needed. It's needed. It's not something that, oh, yeah, do you know what? Well, that's, I'll go and hug that. Or, you know, no, 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 no. Children are supposed to feel like, yeah, I can hug even one of my parents. It don't matter. It's an advantage in life. Now, some people have that advantage. Some people don't have that advantage. It doesn't make you any less of a person. It just means you might have to learn something that you didn't know in the first place. For me, that's exactly what it was. I didn't know how to show my children affection because I didn't know what an affectionate man looked like. I didn't know what an affectionate dad looked like. So for me, it was it was a lot of questioning myself, like, am I supposed to be doing this? How do I do this? Should I be doing this? Why am I doing this? For me, there was a whole load of questions and i didn't have anybody around me at that time that i could really sit down and ask do you know what i did actually i had my grandfather but at the time i was trying to prove to everybody i could be a good dad simple i can tell everybody that now yeah do you know what i was trying to be a good dad i thought i had to be there all the time and do this that and the other and along the way as i have stated before my brothers along the way i learned so much so much your presence is definitely needed your presence is warranted and your presence is wholly accepted by that child if you eliminate yourself yeah the child will easily eliminate you as well because they don't know what it's like having you around it's the same thing with affection coming straight back to it if you don't know what it's like showing your child affection you're going to have to learn but if you don't learn how to show your child affection that child will never see affection from their dad they may see affection from other males in their life like giving other people affection so they may understand it from that perspective but from dad it's completely different it's completely different 
and I'm only saying this, I'm only meriting this on the experiences that I have had myself. My two sons. Me showing them the affection that I've shown them. My brothers, I'm telling you, these two youths are both taller than me and I still hug them. It's a joke because I feel like I'm hugging like big people. Well, they are big people. Don't be stupid, please. Who's that big people? I just feel like, you know, my sons, I, I feel like they're still supposed to be small. To me, they're still small, but they're not. They're not. And it's kind of, it's important for all of us to know that, you know, what our children grow, but we grow as well as parents. We all know this. Yeah, there's no, there's no stop clock on time. But, bros, I don't know how to emphasize it any more than I already have. I really don't. Because as a dad myself, and a man that whose dad wasn't really there, was he wasn't there as often as I would like him, would have liked him to be, wasn't there. Let me just cut to the chase. A man wasn't there at that at all. And seeing it for a sibling, because I saw my dad with my sister, and it was like, bro, why ain't man like that with me? Obviously, fair question. But I didn't understand how important that was until I had my own children. And our children, my brothers, all of us that are dads that are listening and you young ones who's got children on the way yeah and you old man who's not really shown your children affection listen that hurts you know and don't be scared to do it there's brothers out there who love their children so much all they want to do is just hug them all the time but man can't do that because other people will think it's funny why are you always holding your child's hand why are you always hugging your child why are you always picking them up because I heard it myself people said the same thing to me because I want to hold him because I want to hold his hand but for me it was it was a case of Certain, certain time I felt like I had to defend myself with certain people I'm not gonna lie with certain people it was a case of no one really saw anything like what I was doing especially in the circles that I moved in when my youths were young nobody really saw a brother with their youths and their baby mother like not as consistent as I as I have been. And I know a bag of man that's got youths. And I tell you another thing. I think because I had my children when I was relatively young, it forced me into a position where I didn't want to make any more mistakes. I didn't I chose not to make mistakes in not being around for them so it was it was kind of easy for me what well, wasn't easy but it was kind of easy for me knowing the past that I'd had with my dad in making that decision now do you know what I'm not doing that that was very easy for me to do that it's very easy for me to be like oh my gosh these are my children I'm gonna do everything I can for them I just want to be around them I just want them around it was very easy for me to do that what was not easy was sitting with them especially when they were older when they're babies and they're tiny that's cool yet you actually have to hold them because you know they ain't got much choice they can't do nothing for themselves but once they start moving about and they're doing stuff and that can the, the affection comes in then obviously you've you've learned it for the first two years with your child being in your hand almost 24 7 you've kind of built it up you see this little thing grow and grow and grow 
and at some point some parents are just like uh i'm switching off now other parents are like beam i'm tuned in we've got to find a, a balanced medium that's what we need to do as parents just find a nice balanced medium where you know you can show your child affection and don't be scared to show your child affection because i told you what certain people out on the street may chat rubbish and talk about oh you know you shouldn't do this but i bet you any money i'm not gonna say i guarantee because i don't know i bet you any money yeah a lot of those people will be like i wish my dad did that i bet you any money half the people out on the road will be like i wish my dad did that or i wish i could do that with my son don't be scared to show them you know don't be scared to let them know hey what i do this with my youth i don't business what you lot are telling me i don't business what you lot want to do with 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 phone no picnic this is what i'm doing with my youth my children know what my what I am. My children know what I'm about. And especially when it comes to sharing them affection. My brothers, listen. Don't listen to other people. Do what's in your heart. And if it's not within your heart, believe me, you will learn. You will learn. And it's not a case of saying, oh, do you know what you might learn? No, 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 no. You will. You will. Over time, you definitely will. Because if you don't do it, and if you're unable to learn, and if you're unable to show your child affection, you'll see it in them and their children. And you'll see it in other people. You will learn. It's inevitable. Especially when you become a dad. Because as I've said already and stated on more than one occasion, there's so much I did not know or understand or even think about until I had children. After having children, it's, it's, it's almost second nature. Like looking after children for me now, bro, it's like breathing. I don't mind whose child I'm looking after. Yeah, obviously certain children, nah, bro, take them back. You can keep your child. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I look after any child. And, and to be quite honest, I was actually quite blessed as a youth because my mum always, always had somebody else's child in the house. So I saw what it was like for a parent to look after other children and know what that's like. For me, it was it's a big thing like i had my cousins live there um my mom fostered a couple children for a time like bro come on like what listen i know what it is i know where it is and i've stated already there was a time when the boys was at school and their friends used to come around on a regular me and mum know what it's like to look after other children my boy's mum she's had her friend her mum and dad had well, um, yeah, her mum and dad when younger, when they were younger, they had people around their houses. Like, come on, we all know what it's like. And especially if, yeah, I can't say especially. If you're born and you live on an estate, yeah, because everyone's born, the come on. What's wrong with me today? If you live on an estate, you're more likely to see that. If you live on a housing estate, you're, you're, you're a little bit less likely to see that. But you, I'm telling you, when you've got a lot of children crammed into one area, yeah, you tend to see the parents who are willing to look after other people's children, and you tend to see like the balance in affection. I'm telling you. And a lot of people sleep on houses that's got mum and dad. A lot of people sleep on houses that's got just dad, even more. I know it might sound weird to some of you, but yeah, do you know what? That actually does happen, you know? It really does. It might be rare, but do you know what? It does happen. You've not got me going on a mad one because I'm talking about showing your children affection because I was one of them brothers who 
didn't mind sharing my youth's affection. I wanted my children to know I loved them. Yeah, and did everything. I did everything. Barring the couple things that I couldn't do, like give birth and breastfeed. Yeah. <laughs> but everything else, I was in for it, bro. As they say in England, in for a penny, in for a pound. My brothers, listen. You talking about bathe the youth, change the youth's nappies, plasters, making bottles up in the night. And then after that stage there, teaching them obviously certain things, showing them affection, putting them to sleep, reading them stories, giving them hugs, giving them kisses. And I'm talking about two boys, bro. I used to read them bedtime stories. And I'm not talking just reading stories. I'm talking like man would full blow and do whole voices and everything. Man's doing actions. It's not a joke, my brothers, yeah? The public perception of fatherhood is a joke and we need to show them what it is. So, bros, do you know what? This one touched me. So, I'm gonna leave this one as a part one, yeah? And when May comes back, we're gonna jump into this as a part two. We might have to give him a couple of weeks to get back into the swing of things. No digs, nay, no digs at all. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking my brother I'm joking <laughs> my kings listen today it's the 21st century and most of us don't know what it is to show our children affection or effectively know how to portray affection towards our children more than likely it's because you weren't shown affection from your dad when you was a child yourself. I know what that's like, but that doesn't mean you will never be able to do that yourself. Not at all does that mean that. All that it means is that you may take a little bit longer learning how to show your child affection, but you will get there. We all get there eventually, my brothers. There's no stopping any of us. Forget what other people have got to say. Feel what's in your heart. I know all of you love your children. There's nothing anyone can stop that. What should I say? There's nothing anyone can do to stop that. We all want our children to be better than us, most definitely. And I'm not saying that you have to, but I'm saying it's a benefit and it's an advantage when your child is able to see you showing affection just as much as mum. My brothers, I'm D. This is the Future Fathers FF Podcast, and I beg you, stay blessed.